Minasan, physics class ahead. These are the four elements in universe that matters the most. Water, love, me, <laughs> and game engines. Now, if you aren't much into development, first of all, you suck. And second, let me give you some quick context. So there are three major game engines, okay? Unity, Unreal, and Gata, which is the only open source from these three. But over the last couple of years, a new engine has been emerging, called Bevy. It's open source, game developers are keeping a close eye on it, and as you can easily guess, it's written in Rust, with a growing community of contributors. Whoa. And last month Bevy had a birthday, and it turned five years old. Happy birthday! Um, right now Bevy is on version 0.16, and to be honest I kinda quitted at version 0.13 like a year and a half ago when I fully switched to Gato, and I'm saying so because I don't know much about what has happened in that last year. Oh. But one thing it looks like it certainly happened, is that Bevy transformed to a non-profit, and it is very important for the community projects to have an actual legal entity, rather than just being projects with insecure owners. In the meantime, I snooped a bit on what's new on version 16, and there is the best thing ever. Not gonna explain it to you, it's out of video scope anyway. But that, the complexity with entities' relationships, was one of the top reasons I quit Bevy. Funny fact, I only discovered it doing this video, and I can't wait to check it out. Another thing you should know about Bivy is that for the moment it misses an editor. What a bummer, right? So the way you develop a game in Bevy right now is by doing everything in a code editor, and then you run your scene, hoping for the best. Let's run it, boys! Girls, go away. <laughs> Ta-da! And so, we have an official UI editor for Bevy coming. Basically, this is only a super early prototype, and if you go in Bevy's Figma, you'll get a more wholesome picture, okay? Um, actually, I'll put links in YouTube description if you want to check these out. But, you know, it kind of looks like a typical game engine editor, like Unity or Godot, pretty much. I mean, we have our assets browser down here, and if we select an object from the scene view, we get the object's properties panel. And here's our scene tree. Um, for game developers, I'd say it feels like home. But for every UI developer, that feels like a dream, because all that is made with Bevy UI, which is basically a toolkit to use within Bevy. Remember when I told you I'm going to check out what's new in Bevy 0.16 after I finish this video? I lied, boss, because I couldn't really wait. So I stopped doing this video, and I started playing with Bevy code. <sighs> and I can't be 100% certain about that, because Bevy UI is basically a baby, but I'd imagine it's going to be iced RS. Big time. Yep. First, because Bevy's super amazing ECS architecture, aka Entities, Components, and Systems, provides a full framework for building apps, including the UI elements, and it's not yet another stupid declarative toolkit. Second, Bevy is capable of a full 3D experience with mesh rendering, lighting, materials, shaders, 3D cameras, physics, and hierarchical transforms, which is basically the next level of applications development and traditional 2D UI is basically dying guys, none should care in all honesty. And all those without any extra performance lag, assuming you're running it in a modern hardware. And third, which is basically the outcome of second point, Bevy has a much way larger and more active community of contributors than iStarus, or any other traditional UI toolkit, including GTK obviously. Oh well, if you can fight it, then join it. It's all about game engines, boss. <laughs> Anywho, let's go to the video main event, which is basically this insane project that tries to build a UI editor in GTK for the Bevy engine. I'm not entirely sure how this thing even works, but I think it has something like a double buffered setup for rendering, where Bevy is the back buffer using Vulkan, and GTK acts like a front buffer that displays the rendered frames using Linux DMA buff. And then the application creates a GTK viewport that can attach a Bevy camera that renders the textures. If you want to get involved, there are examples so you can easily experiment with the code and figure out exactly how it works, possibly contribute to if you care. Although this thing is pretty much an initial commit and a proof of concept. There you go. Now alright, we all realize this project is pretty much pointless, because the Bevy community is fully focused in the official Bevy editor made with the official Bevy UI. Like it happens with Godot, plus the GTK implementation puts additional complexity. But nevertheless, that's the single most heroic GTK project I've ever seen, and it will always be. Because, you know, Game Engines is the top of the tops, there is nothing beyond that. And if the developer watches that, first of all I want to wish him good luck, but I also I want to warn him that his dreams will crush like the big crunch. 